What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader, and I did a little poll on my Patreon page, and I asked my Patreons, I've got time for one more video before I leave for the Thanksgiving Day holiday. What do you want it to be? Do you want it to be a vintage collection market update, or do you want another what to buy video? And the results came in. It was pretty overwhelming that they wanted me to make one more what to buy video before the Thanksgiving Day break. And I did make some other content for while I'm gone, but th that's why this one is airing a little bit earlier than usual. This one's going to air, I think, on Wednesday when I usually air my what to buy videos on Friday. Speaking of Patreon, I want to say thank you to P Patrick F. and to Jameson G. They recently increased their Patreon support, so thank you guys so much for helping support the channel. And as always, on all these items in the video description, there is an eBay affiliate link. And I encourage you to use that because it adds no cost to you, but it helps out my channel, helps out for channel expenses, things like that. And for even for some of these auctions, if you bid early using my affiliate link, if you come back later and decide you want to win it and win the auction, uh, then uh, eBay will give me credit for that. So that would, that would be very much appreciated if you use the affiliate links in the video description. For all the items I'm going to cover, I've got... A couple of vintage collection items, but the vast majority of these are vintage Kenner items. And I think now's a really good time to pick up some of those grails that you may be looking for to add to your collection. Prices are down, as we saw at Hakes. Uh, prices in general are flat. And there are some pretty banging items on eBay right now at auction or buy it now. So let's dig in. Uh, the first one, we're going to start off with a few vintage collection before we start digging into the vintage Kenner stuff. Here is an unpunched U.S. card VC-110 Shock Trooper. And this one appears to be in absolutely awesome shape. It's listed for $140. Uh, and, uh, you know, is that pr price fair? It might be sl a smidge high, but it's probably pretty close. It's probably pretty close. I, I found a couple of data points at 135 I found another one that sold at 160 This one's kind of priced towards the lower end of that price point. But it, it does look in extremely really good condition there. Uh, so 140 Free shipping on that one uh, is a buy it now situation if you're looking for that VC-110 Shock Trooper unpunched on the U.S. card. I also found a proof card. This is from the SDCC. Uh, it was a giveaway, uh, I guess, in about 2010 for Boba Fett. But the thing is, this one's unpunched. This is a proof card that's unpunched, and usually they're punched. It's hard to find. I've found it hard to find this particular proof card unpunched. And the price is right. You know, it's $34.99, $8 shipping. Uh, you can also make an offer on that one. Uh, but that's that's one of the ones that I found from those early proof cards that were given away at STCC. Uh, to be tough to find unpunched. So there's that proof card. Here's the big one. And I'm only throwing it out there because I want you guys to see it and know that it's available for sale. It's an AFA 9.0 Canadian TVC Yoda unpunched. So very high grade. Now it's listed for $3,000, which I think is way too high. Uh, but there's five watchers on it and it's also make an offer. What is it worth? That's the question. I don't know. Obviously, the price has come down like everything else. Uh, ungraded, uh, I've seen as low as $800. Uh, I've seen as high ungraded as $1,400 here recently. This one's listed at $3,000. I think that's way too high, but maybe he's just throwing it out there at a high price just to see what the market will bear. It is an AFA 9.0, so it's very high grade, unpunched, kind of the holy grail for retail release TVC is this multi-language name pill VC20 Canadian Yoda. So I just wanted to make people aware of it. I'm not saying pay $3,000, but if you do have some money to burn, that one certainly is a beauty. All right, let's dig into the vintage Kenner items here. We got Collectibles Investment Brokerage, which is affiliated with AFA. They've got a number of auctions going right now. I picked out some of the prime items that they have available. All of these end Sunday evening. Uh, the first one is an AFA 85 Cloud Car Pilot, loose graded, brand new case style. It's at 86 bucks right now with $10 shipping. Again, all of these that I'm going to cover from CIB end Sunday evening. So uh, just wanted to make you aware of those. You can put a bid in on them. And uh, and then watch them for later on. Uh, but this is the big one. This is the Taiwan painted helmet Boba Fett AFA 85. And to me, if you're going to get one of these, this is kind of a mini grail in my opinion. Now's a good time to do it. The prices have come way back down. The last AFA 85 that sold last year back during the collectibles boom went for like $1,900. I think that this one's going to go for less than a thousand dollars. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't. I mean, you know, CIB items tend to command a premium 
because they ship worldwide and international bidders with deep pockets, they know it's going to arrive safe and sound. And so you do have to compete against that a little bit, but, uh, you know, maybe it goes above a thousand, but I don't think it, you know, to me, I wouldn't pay more than probably $1,100 and watch it blow right past that number. Uh, there was another one that was an AFA 80 plus that sold recently for $900. So just my personal opinion to stay around 1100. But if you do want a high grade example for the painted helmet FET, it is at auction right now. It's at 186.50. Uh, they've also got a purple stitch Jawa. That's kind of a tough one to find. Uh, you can see the very purplish stitch there on the sleeves as well as the end of the robe. AFA 85. That one's at $92 right now. Uh, they also have, interestingly, a UKG 75%. YPS Stormtrooper displayed with the comic. So this is a pretty desirable item. There was a UKG-80 that sold recently, and I think I want to say it sold for about 1100 bucks. So uh, people pay up for this. It includes the G.I. Joe-style bullpup AK-47 weapon, the black bullpup. And uh, this one is the Spanish PBP No COO Scar version of the Hoth Stormtrooper. 75, 85, 80 were the subscores for a 75. But what's cool about it is that it includes the German YPS comic that this particular figure came with uh, inside like a bag. So uh, the bag included the, the weapon, the figure, and then this particular comic. So it's a pretty desirable item, and collectors do pay a lot of money for it. Uh, and it's not like the highest grade. It's a 75%, so maybe you get a better deal on it. But pretty cool to see that one uh, for sale from CIB. Right now it's at 222.50. I would expect this one to go for at least 800 US dollars. Uh, next up, they also have an AFA 85 Yak Face, and I think now's a really good time to pick up a Yak Face uh, because prices have come down a smidge. That's not to say that this one won't. This one could sell for a lot of money, but it seems like 850 to 900 is about the going rate right now for an AFA 85 Yak Face. That one's already at 504, so uh, it could blow well past that number with six days and seven hours left as of the making of this video. They also have the Brazilian Glass Leap Chewbacca AFA 85 Old Case Style archival case so uh that one includes the zuckus style rifle uh this particular figure did so uh if you're into those foreign variants there's the glass leet chewbacca afa 85 right now that one's at 153 that's another figure in particular that has come way back down in price a little bit so you can probably get those for a good deal but just keep in mind that cib is the seller and cib items do tend to command a premium and i got more on that in a little while here uh, here is an AFA 85, no COO, Luke Skywalker, brown haired, no COO though. So this one appeared on like the Palatoy Tri Logos, and it's an AFA 85, brand new case style. So CIB's got some really awesome foreign variants, uh, lots of interesting items there. That, the price on that one is at 305, and uh, again, that one ends Sunday evening. Uh, here is a buy it now situation for a CAS 85 Orange Eye FX7. I can't remember if I included this in the last video. It has not sold yet. There's 10 watchers on it. Buy it now situation for 100 bucks for a CAS 85. That one seems like a pretty good deal there. So uh, if you're into those kind of variants, uh, that one is the Orange Eye. It looks like the Orange Eye. It could be the Red Eye. Uh, I'm not sure on that. But anyway, it's 100 bucks for a CAS 85, 565 shipping, 10 watchers on that one. Uh, next up, same seller also has a CAS-80 pop-up lightsaber R2-D2 last 17. And I think I might have included this one in my last video when it was at 885. He's dropped it down to 785 now. So it's a CAS-80 R2-D2 pop-up. I mean, you're getting close to what these can sell for ungraded. Ungraded, these can sell for all day long, $650 to $700. This one's at 785 uh, there's 10 watchers on it right now. I mean, to me, that's a pretty good deal. That's a really good deal for uh, the, the pop-up lightsaber R2-D2. Uh, next up, all right, we're going to start talking about some UKG-graded items. Cashel Retro Trader had some awesome items for sale, buy it now situations, and I sent these out to my Patreon supporters in buy it now alerts, and they snapped up a number of them, but this is one that did, they did not pick up. This is the No COO Death Squad Commander with no chest emblem, so it's a factory air, really nice looking figure there, and it's only 85 pounds, which is 105 US dollars plus 25 dollars shipping. There's five watchers on it. I'm so tempted to buy that myself, but I wanted to make it aware, make folks aware. If it's still available when I get back from Thanksgiving, I might pull the trigger on it. So 85 pounds for that one. Again, it's a UKG 80% Death Squad Commander. No COO, which is harder to find. 
<clears throat> and it's also a factory error because it's missing the chest emblem on his chest there. So that's a good one. Uh, here's the other one. Uh, alluding back to the CIB item, CIB had an AFA-80 PBP pink face Spanish Hoth Luke, uh, Spanish Han Hoth. And uh, that one sold in an auction for over like three or 400 bucks if memory serves. I bid on it and I lost. This one is a UKG 80% same figure. And it's only 135 pounds, which is 167 US dollars, about half of what the other one sold for that was AFA 80. And to me, this is a really good buy. I, I think that I would really consider this one. This is another one that if it's still around in a week or so, I'm probably going to buy it myself. Uh, there's six watchers on it, but it's the pink face Spanish PBP Han Hoth. UKG 80%. So that's a, that's a good buy. That's a good buy to me. I, I would definitely pick that one up. Trusted seller. I bought from this seller before, and I think that's a really good price on that one. Uh, he also, retro, Cash Out Retro Trader, also has the Spanish PBP Snaggletooth graded UKG 85%. So a little bit higher grade on that one. Another Spanish figure. Brand new case style for 135 pounds, which is 167 U.S. dollars. There's seven watchers on that one as well. That's another good buy. I, I pay that all day long. Uh, next up, we, we got to talk about Jeff's collectible empire. Uh, he posted on his Facebook page that someone walked into his shop. He's got a shop, like a physical bricks and mortar shop, and someone sold him a huge batch of mint on card figures. And I'm including some of the choice bits that are at auction that he that he purchased last week. So uh, be careful, though, because if you go check out his other items, he's got a ton available, but a lot of them are missing the proofs of purchases. They have the pops cut out on the back of the card. Um, the ones I'm showing do not. So the first one is a 65 back A Luke Skywalker Hoth clear blister, and it's in really good shape, unpunched, no price sticker. Uh, so this one's at auction. All of these in Sunday afternoon, uh, but it's Jeff's Collectible Empire. Jeff Jacobs, very trusted seller. I bought from him many times in the past. Uh, but this is a beauty. Luke Skywalker Hoth, 65A, unpunched, clear blister. So that one's going to sell for quite a bit of money. Right now it's at 66 bucks. And uh, this one is the 77 back A, Han Hoth clear blister. It does have a little crease in the upper right-hand corner, but it's unpunched, no price sticker. That one's at $51, so that's a pretty nice-looking example. They're probably about a 75 grade on the Han Hoff. He also has a clear blister, Cloud Car Pilot. This one is the 65 back A, unpunched, no price sticker. That one's at $120. So these are the choice ones. There are others available if you go check out seller's other items, but just make sure you check out the fronts and the backs of the cards because some of them do have the pops cut out. Uh, here is the Bosk. This one is a yellow blister 65 back B Bosk, but it's in really good shape. Very lightly yellowed, unpunched, no price sticker. That one's at $53 in an auction. And again, that one in Sunday evening. And uh, he also has a Boba Fett. It unfortunately does have a, cr uh, a crease going all the way the length of the card. But if you've been looking for kind of a just display, not grade, 65 back A with only very light yellowing. The blister is in really great shape, but it does have a crease at the top of the card and it does have a color breaking crease in the bottom uh, left hand corner on the front of the card. But this is a good budget friendly mint on card Boba Fett that he just picked up. He literally just bought it last week and he's auctioning them all off. They all started really cheap. This one's already at $338. The pop is cut out on this one. And he has two or three other Boba Fett's. Uh, here's the other one. Uh, there's one more that I didn't include, but this one does not have the pop cut out on it. It's the 77 back A, and this one's in better shape. Uh, it's also a little bit heavy, more heavily yellowed on the blister, but uh, that one is another one. So, you know, he's got three Boba Fett's. I showed two in this video, but uh, this one has the pop cut out, the 65 back A. Here is the 77 back A without the, the the pop is still attached on this one. So that one's going to go for big money too. Right now that one's at 167.50 and again there's there's all in Sunday evening, but it was an awesome find. It was something like 8 800 cards or so uh or 800 80 cards or so uh, that came into to his physical bricks and mortar store, and he's auctioning them all off, starting cheap. So uh, I thought it was really great that he decided to auction them all off instead of doing buy it nows and kind of like, you know, 
trying to milk every dollar. So that was pretty awesome of Jeff to do that. And uh, I think he's going to have uh, some really big prices on some of these. But I wanted to make people aware of them. I just included a few of the, the choice items on there. But if you can live with the pop cut out, go check out his other items because he's got a ton that are at auction right now. All of them in Sunday evening around 4.35 o'clock Central Time. That's all I really had for this video. This is kind of the last video I'm making before the Thanksgiving Day break, although I did uh, include some other videos I pre-uploaded. But thanks as always for watching, and I'll be back soon.